Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash up and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that cash up and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about the dangers of posting yourself committing crimes on social media and the internet and how it can lead to RICO cases. The feds, the police really do be on social media to use it to their advantage with investigations. In this incident, it involves three Bay Area men, a justice reform activist and Mission District Norteños. Here's how this crazy story played out. On January 23rd, 2018, Doobie Ortiz Guardado was walking with a woman near the intersection of Richland and Lease at 5.13 p.m. when gunfire rang out. Both Ortiz Guardado and the woman were hit. Ortiz Guardado later declared dead at San Francisco General Hospital. Two men ended up arrested in connection with the murder. San Francisco residents, 18-year-old Oscar Diaz and 19-year-old Jorge Howard were taken into custody. Another man, Fernando Nando Madrigal, was one of the three Norteños charged with murdering 15-year-old Davon Han in San Francisco and with participating in the murder of another man in July 12, 2018. The unknown victim's body was discovered in February 2020 by tree trimmers working in a wooded area of Oakland. According to the indictment, a month later, the victim's skull was discovered in a nearby area. Authorities allege Madrigal lured the victim to a meetup at Candlestick Point, claiming he wanted to buy marijuana. Just 11 days after he allegedly killed Han, Madrigal spoke at an anti-violence rally alongside his mother. At the time, police were still investigating the case. In 2020, Federal authorities allege Madrigal murdered Han after mistaking him for a rival gang member on the 3200 block of 24th Street. At the July 2019 rally, Han's mother pleaded for violence to stop while Madrigal spoke about his own experiences surviving a shooting. In April 2019, Madrigal also publicly spoke out at a rally intended to increase support for shutting down San Francisco's juvenile hall. The news site KTVU hailed him as a young man who now works to keep kids on the right track and quoted him as saying that juvenile incarceration doesn't help nobody. This is where things get crazy and interesting. Around the same time, according to authorities, Madrigo was posting videos on Instagram, offering guns for sale and boasting that if he caught a rival slipping, then it's going to be a murder. Just one day before the April 2019 rally, he posted a video of himself possessing a gun with a large capacity drum magazine at a BART station as a train pulled up. Oscar Diaz, an Oakland resident, was arrested in December 2020 with multiple unregistered guns and more than 100 rounds of ammunition in his possession, according to court records. The three men were indicted in December 2020 on charges that they were part of a Mission District-based Norteño gang. All three men have been in jail since their arrest on a no bail federal hold. The three men, Fernando, Alvaro, and Oscar, all have pleaded guilty to the RICO charges. The racketeering charges carry a maximum sentence of life. What you see here is screenshots from Fernando Madrigal's Instagram as evidence in the federal case against him. The three men, Fernando, Nando Madrigal, Alvaro, G Boy, Reina Cordero and Oscar Cuddy Diaz will be sentenced this year on June 29, 2023. 